Big River's out. We're gonna find a levee back to boat in and uh, see if we can't find some mallard ducks. If you're not where the ducks want to be that year, you're not going to get them. You got to remember that every foot that that Mississippi River comes up, that's thousands of acres of habitat. And it's really hard for people to grasp that. Not only is it habitat, it's undisturbed. Most of the time, I mean, a duck can sit in a spot for four or five days and not ever get seen by nothing but a tugboat. You can't ever pressure the ducks enough on flood water to make them react. And you're never gonna be able to. That's why it's the most fantastic hunting in the world. I mean, it, natural flood water hunting is the best. You know, just being where the ducks naturally wanna be is awesome. River hunting is by far my favorite kind of hunting. You know, 70% of the time, we're scouting, and that's just something that we love doing. And when it starts raining like it does, we'll pull out our phones, watch it river gauge, check it like a hawk, get them boats fired up and tuned up, and, uh, and head towards the river. One of the funnest things to me about hunting backwater is getting a good group of guys, putting those war eagles in the water, and just going out searching for ducks. Because with as much water as we've had, they were in areas that they've never been before, that we've never been before. So when you turn that corner around a slough and see a big raft of mallards in there, the funnest part is figuring out how you're gonna set up on them, how you're gonna kill them. And to me, that's one of the most enjoyable things in duck hunting, is when you can find those ducks, create your situation, and have a successful hunt. Brother Keith Allen always said, we are a product of our geography. If we lived in San Diego, we would be the baddest surfers around, but we live in Southeast Missouri. And when that river gets out, we chase ducks. We love getting a boat out, scouting, uh, you know, finding ducks in new places. Uh, that, that's just so true when it comes to around here. That's just what we've grown up doing. We just chase ducks all over the place. And uh, what we do, The worst part about this 2018-2019 duck season, it, 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 it isn't necessarily the facts that we didn't kill the ducks. I mean, yeah, that's there, and you're always gonna remember it because of that. You, you know, there was never the chance to learn. There was never the chance to, to hunt. I mean, it, it was so poor that we never got to hunt ducks. And, and, I'll, and I'll just say this, if you go out hunting and you see seven ducks, that ain't duck hunting. I'm just telling you. But uh, if I wouldn't have had the boat and, and we wouldn't have had the boats to go, you'd have never got a chance to learn new things, learn new tricks. But all that time, all that corn we planted, 
all that rice we planted, all the blinds we camoed, all the time we spent walking around pits, seeding rice where the drills missed, all that time cutting brush. It wasn't a waste and we'll do it a hundred years in a row if that's what it takes, but it's just, you just never, you never even get to talk about those things because it never happened. If you live on the Mississippi River, if you hunt near it, if you're anywhere near that big river and you got a boat, you need to put it in when it gets above flood stage and you need to go find out where the ducks are. Get them. And it don't matter from darn New Orleans to wherever it starts at up north, you gotta be on the river because that's just the facts of the matter. I'm doing it, man. I'll just tell you, it was tough. And uh, there's a couple people probably enjoyed me not killing them, and that's fine, because I'll get mine. Just, we'll get ours, we're always gonna get them. <laughs>